What is up, YouTube? A9 here, and welcome back to episode 14 of Overengineering Survival. So, last episode I said we were going to play with some rockets, but I have changed my mind on what we are going to do, because as much as I love this thing, it is a pain in the ass to drive, and it doesn't have a lot of storage. And since this miner really... I mine with it for about 30 seconds and it's full and I can get four loads into this, basically. Four to five, it's, it's not a lot of space. So we're going to be building a new and hopefully better uh, transport truck and hydrogen trailer, which will also double as a transport truck. The way we are going to build it is we are going to over-engineer the shit out of this thing, as always. So, uh, rotor suspension, worrying about center of mass, because this thing is going to be quite tall, maybe. Uh, I, it still has to fit through the doors, obviously. And also, another side of the train is it's going to have to fit in here, because, I don't know. It might have a parking spot up here, <laughs> depending on what happens. As we're also going to need a refinery and assembler area, which I think we're probably going to do down at the end of this hall right here. And at some point we're going to have a staircase that leads up to our little tool shed up top. And this is going to be turned into either another walkway or storage or something. Probably storage to mirror the storage. Or hydrogen storage but yeah so actually probably the easiest way of me to explain how we're gonna do the suspension stuff is for me to just show you in my creative test world so I'll get that loaded up and then I'll explain how we're gonna do the suspension stuff so yeah I'll be right back all right so we're in my creative test world for various things uh, that are gonna be involved with this series uh, so this is what I'm kind of thinking, except I think I'm going to make it a little bit wider so we can fit large cargo containers instead of medium ones down the center. Um, also, uh, let me know if you guys want this on the workshop. I made it a while back and it doesn't, it works okay unless you go on a sideways hill in which case it just falls over it's not very stable when turning but other than that it can go over pretty much anything uh so yeah if you guys want this just let me know i'll, I'll happily post it in this state <laughs> but yeah so basically suspension is you got a rotor here i don't know any of the proper terms but this will be for going this way then you got rotors here for this movement, and then you got one on each of these axles. And we got the large wheels. And the same thing is going to be set up for the hydrogen one. It's going to be something like this. So just hydrogen tanks. Probably hydrogen tanks instead of large car containers going down the middle. But yeah. So. Let me load up our survival world and we can start building this thing. Alright, so we're back in the survival world. Um, let me know if you guys like seeing what I've been doing in creative so you have some sort of idea of what I'm doing when I'm building these things. Or do you just want to see it after it's done and figure it, trying to figure out what I'm doing while I'm building it? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, um, we're gonna need a bottom spine. I can place that. Nope, guess not. Alright, and we are also going to need some large cargo containers, which are a pain in the arse, because 
They are dumb and don't have doors on all sides. Alright. I need a large... Needs to be like that. I think that was right. Yeah, that's right. Damn, these things are massive. Do that one like that. Um. Four? Four should be fine. Maybe. See, four might be a little much. Hold on, I know what to do. Give some room for the rotor to go. And then... Then we do that one. There we go. Same thing on this one. Get a little space. And of course I'd put landing here exactly where I needed to put a rotor. Rotor one. Rotor two. Alright, um, I'm gonna need a control panel. One of those. One of these. I don't know why I wanted the other one to grab it, and one of these. back and grab everything I need. So when doing stuff with rotors it's very handy to name your rotors and uh, I found an easy way of doing that is well placing your rotors down one at a time and also leave the ones you don't want to name or you're not naming yet incomplete, so don't build all of them. So like this one will be rotor front. I guess I don't know tilt. Who knows? Okay, whatever. Uh, again, I don't know the terms. <laughs> and then okay, full rotor extension, rotor lock. Turn your attention doesn't need to be on for this. And then you can build the second one. And now you can find it easily in the list. And this helps when you have like 30 rotors on your build. <laughs> and this is back T. And rotor lock. Ah, let me grab parts. Alright, good, that's not it. So then the rotor, so messing with the rotor extension allows you to have a rotor here and then a block here, and now they won't intersect when they're turning and you won't clang. So. Um, that's probably wide enough. Oh, I say that, and now I'm climbing into this, so that can go away. Right now, at least. Um, yeah, that should be wide enough. Okay. 
But yeah, you saw there when it was touching the um, uh, car container in front, it was bent down. That'll cause clang if you're not careful. So, ro rotors aren't that scary if you know what you're doing. <laughs> And you're careful to make sure you don't have any, um, uh, block collisions. Also, if you put too many of rotors on your build, you share an inertia sensor. It'll save your butt. Like, um, that suspension build, which, uh, I was showing off earlier in the creative test world. That one, if you turn Nurse Tensor off, the entire thing clangs out. <laughs> Can't figure out why, I guess it's just probably because there's too many grids on it and it just doesn't like it. But, yeah. And then we can do the exact same thing we did before for each of these individual rows. So this would be rotor, back, right, back, left. Rotor lock those, do extension on them, and then I think the limit on these were negative 30 to positive 30. And these guys were, that's like 15. I don't know, I'll check back on my in my creative test world after. Components again. I did make this too long. Maybe not. They're pretty big wheels, so. Totally not how I did it. Oh, I'm going. This side is wrong. Yeah, it's like this. Hmm, let me um, uh, do this one. Might be okay. What is this? Green? Yeah, this is definitely too wide. Or long. Uh, 
I think definitely the issue was. I think I had. And these are five, ten. Yeah, so my original one was like here. I mean, it should be fine. Might just be a little too, a little bit long. This is the right side, right. Ooh, good, wheel placed. Wheel could not be placed because it was something was in the way or was I in the way? I was in the way. Okay. Actually, this, this should be fine. I, I made the thing here a bit wider than I did on the other build, so. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I also might move uh, those car containers down a bit. Do not fall apart. Let's get these wheels on. Ah! Oh god. Yeah, that should be fine. Maybe. I uh, might want to move it in a couple blocks. Maybe. Maybe not actually, no, because I got the car containers down the middle. Too low. Maybe. Eh. So 
don't drive over any big bumps. So I have three large cargo containers. Let's do that one. Um, this way. Yes. Should be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Might be a little low. But I do want a low center of mass, because otherwise this thing will tip over. So let me get the other side built to the exact same way and then we'll carry on from there because you guys don't need to see that twice. <laughs> Alright guys, so this episode turned out to be a lot longer than I expected. Uh, so part two you'll be able to find in the video description when it's uploaded. It'll be uploaded a day after this video, so if you're watching this on the day it came out, uh, you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching it later out down on the line, it's already down there, so you can find it in the video description. So yeah, have a good night. Bye!